Legendary singer and New Orleans native Clarence Frogman Henry passed away last night. At just 19 years old, his mix of soulful vocals and humor redefined rock and roll music in the 50s. Here's a look at Frogman's career with former WWL Louisiana anchor Angela Hill. He can sing like a girl. You want it? sound like a frog. Falsetto or frog, Clarence Frogman Henry's voice and this song took him from Algiers, Louisiana to rhythm and blues fans around the world. I sing like a girl and I sing like a frog. I'm a lonely boy. I ain't got a home. Ain't Got No Home, written by Frogman, became his ticket onto a 50-year musical roller coaster ride. Not bad for a boy from L.B. Landry High School. The walls in his Algiers home are a history of those five decades. A gold record, a platinum one. Breaking attendance records at the Apollo Theater in New York. Performing on American Bandstand. Rubbing elbows with the magical people of the rhythm and blues and rock and roll era and ultimately traveling America with four British guys called the Beatles. I saw the Beatles before they was the Beatles in Piccadilly Circle and was working in a club upstairs. He opened 18 concerts for them on their American tour. Nice guys, he says, especially Paul. But the Beatles' success wasn't great for entertainers like him. It put a hurt on us because everybody was going for the long hair stuff, you know, the British. I like the way you walk. I like the way you talk. Let me hold your hand. I want to be your man. Unlike some R&B talents, Frogman Henry survived the British invasion. I've been very fortunate, very lucky, you know, through my career and my life that I didn't have to get a day job after I started singing. That's because for over 20 years, he played on Bourbon Street at the Court of the Two Sisters, the 500 Club, La Strada, clubs that knew his sound was New Orleans sound. I don't believe that I haven't had hard times. I've had hard times. You know, I raised my children uh, with $81 a week. That's 10 children and five wives. Like others of that time, Frogman didn't see much money from his recordings. A few dollars, he says, from his first. And finally, in 1961, one royalty check. I never did see the royalty check. My second wife, she saw the royalty check. The check was for $13,000. The owners of the recording company told him it was the biggest check they had ever seen. And it was the last check Frogman saw for over three decades. I had 29 years of royalties do me. And in 1990, know, he finally got them because uh, a local attorney went to bat for him. Reason. Would you believe she got me enough money to last me during my illness? It that illness, that a devastating days, paralysis. Uh, one, one minute dancing around with his family, and, and the my, next. You know, I went to raise my left leg, it wouldn't go up. I raised up my right, it wouldn't go up, you know? And I got scared, I thought maybe it was cigarettes. Mm because I used to smoke three and a half packs of cigarettes a day. It wasn't and cigarettes, it was a bad disc. Praying. I mean, I was praying. I, I saw, you know, like people say, I saw God walk on the side of me. He had and surgery, so but was told he'd probably never down. walk again. I couldn't get out of the bed, I couldn't do nothing. But this you pro know, didn't miss bed. Jazz Fest, entertaining in his wheelchair. Through sheer determination and will, he did walk again. He uses his cane to get on stage, which he says at first embarrassed him. God said, I'm going to show you. You know, you had a miracle. Here's a woman. I admired her when I was young, about 20 years old. She was a great singer. On the stage with no legs in a wheelchair singing, that was LaVon Baker. And that was the last time he complained about his cane. When you're smiling, keep on smiling. And a whole world smile with you. <laughs> what a
what a life. There has been an outpouring of love. Mayor Latoya Cantrell said Henry will be missed as she extended prayers to his loved ones, while Congressman Troy Carter echoed that and called Henry a local legend, adding that he will be remembered for generations. Henry was 87 years old.